Hey everyone, and welcome to another Christmas-themed meeting of the Tropical Rum Society. As always, I'm Matt. Don't go getting me confused with Santa just because I'm wearing the hat. But today, we are taking a look at an actual Christmas-themed rum. So unlike Halloween, where I just can't seem to find a rum that actually is Halloween-themed, there's quite a few Christmas-themed rums to go with. And today, we are looking at Bundaberg Christmas Pudding. Now in the past, Bundaberg has put out a few other different Christmas themed rums. I believe last year they had one called a Rum Ball, but this year they put out one called Christmas Pudding, which interestingly has a brandy flavored sauce component to it, which a little bit strange considering it's meant to be a rum, you know, but we're gonna dive into that. We'll take a taste, we'll see what it's like, and I'm really looking forward to this one. Now, if you've been coming to these meetings for a while, you'll probably know that we have looked at Bundaberg before, so I'll drop a few links to that down in the description so we don't have to go into the full backstory again. But needless to say, here in Australia, Bundaberg is an absolute icon of rum. Very, very well known. You'll see it in every single bar, every single store. And today, we're taking a look at one of their limited edition specialty products. So there's not gonna to be too much about Bundaberg, as I said, so let's just get straight into looking at this Christmas pudding. So here it is, the Bundaberg Christmas pudding liqueur with brandy flavored sauce for some reason. Now, one of the first things that actually stood out to me about this drink, other than this really nice texture on the outside of the bottle, is that this is only 20% ABV, which definitely means that it's not a rum. It's actually, in fact, like half the strength of a standard rum that we would see here in Australia. So we're stretching the rules for this meeting a little bit because technically this isn't a rum, but it is Bundaberg, which is well known for their rums. I'm guessing that they use their like base product rum to create this. And plus it's a Christmas themed drink and we're doing a Christmas themed meeting. So we're gonna, bring, we're gonna bend those rules just a little bit. Hope you don't mind. Now, from what I can see on the bottle and what I've seen online, this is essentially like a spiced liqueur using lots of different Christmas themed spices, as well as somehow incorporating like a brandy flavor to it. So from what I've seen, mixed spices, vanilla and brandy, all combined with Bundaberg rum, I would say. Now, something that I found quite interesting on Bundaberg's own website is that they're suggesting that you drink this neat or possibly over ice. And I find that quite fascinating because even with the rum bowl, they suggest that you put that on top of like a dessert or something like that. So for them to say, drink this neat, combined with that kind of enigmatic mystery blend of spices and flavors, I'm quite excited to try this and see what it's like. I do have a little bit of an idea of what I'm expecting from this, having had Christmas puddings plenty of times. As longtime viewers will know, I'm quite a fan of desserts and sweet things. so. I have some idea of what I want this to be. So I think it's about time that we uh, take a look, crack it open and find out what it actually is like. So here we go. Let's get this cracked. Nice, pretty standard little metal cap there. And as I said, the texture of this bottle is fantastic. Now we'll try not to pour too much. There we go. I think that'll do. I'll drop that over there and let's take a look. First thing, that color. Nice reddish brown, tinges of gold around the edges. Does look like it's uh, possibly a little bit fake in that color. Could be coming from some sort of artificial coloring. Not too sure, but it is quite a nice pleasant color. I would have expected probably a little bit darker considering we're trying to emulate a Christmas pudding, which is obviously a deep dark brown, but that's all right. I'm quite happy with this. Also, obviously, looking at that bottle over there, it is much deeper and darker when it's in that bottle fully. So, I mean, just a little bit lighter when it comes out of there. Makes sense. All right, on to the fun part. Does it smell and taste like some Christmas pudding? Let's have a sniff. So immediately, it does have quite a number of very Christmassy sorts of smells. There's a lot of vanilla coming out of this but I'm also getting a warm mix of spices, which is quite nice. Let's see if we can find some brandy or brandy sauce. I'm not really sure what that would smell like exactly. So I think the two primary things that are jumping out to me in this smell is a nice brown sugar sweetness, as well as a fair amount of vanilla. And there is a bit of a spice blend that's cutting through that as well, uh, but it's not quite as prominent as I expected, to be honest. 
I was thinking that there would be a lot more kind of cinnamon and nutmeg and things like that, um, but that's kind of more a background note. In terms of the brandy sauce, I personally don't seem to be finding too much of that, but I will say this is a very delicious smell that is close, close to what I was expecting based on the Christmas puddings that I've had before. It definitely does smell like something that you would actually want to have by itself. It's very inviting and it definitely makes me want to take a sip. So I think we should. So Merry Christmas. Cheers. Let's have a taste. So the very first thing that I noticed as soon as it hit my tongue, that is thick. Like you can feel it and it's viscous and just like envelops your mouth in a very, very thick sort of feeling. It's very, very syrupy, almost as if you're drinking like a thinned out sauce itself, which I'm not mad about. That is quite nice, but we will have to take another sip. I was totally distracted by how that felt and didn't pay too much attention to the actual flavor other than it's quite sweet, which I'm a fan of. I do enjoy that. So let's have another sip here, see if we can actually pay attention to the flavors now that we know what it's going to feel like. Mmm, it's almost like butterscotchy. That is really, really nice. I, so flavor-wise, fantastic. Not getting very much alcohol in there, which makes sense since it's only 20%, but that, that's delicious. Like, I really like that. Really like it. There's a lot, as I said, of that butterscotch flavor. Not quite as much vanilla as I was getting in the nose. That thickness just really adds to the experience as well. Like it all blends together really nicely. Like it does feel and taste like I'm drinking some sort of sauce that's meant to go on Christmas pudding. I kind of actually want to put this on a Christmas pudding now just to see what it's like. Like I know that it's suggested to just drink it neat, but I want to see what it would be like with, with the dessert. But yeah, I am really quite pleased about that. Very happy. That is, that is a great, great flavor. Now, granted, we are meant to be reviewing rums here, uh, since we are the Tropical Rum Society, not the Tropical Liqueur Society. But, dang, that, that is really, really good. So if you can get your hands on a bottle of this, highly recommend it for Christmas, and just, I reckon this would be really nice any time that it's cold. Obviously, it's not cold here in Australia on Christmas Day. Um, but, that is just a flavor that I would enjoy year-round, to be honest. Now, if you're someone who really enjoys like a standard rum and doesn't mind when it's been flavored a little bit, this is not that. Like this does not feel like a rum. It doesn't taste like a rum. It is definitely a liqueur. Also, if you're not a fan of desserts and you're not a fan of sweet things, this is not for you. This is very sweet. Like this is my style of sweet where it's almost overpowering how much it is. I'm gonna have another sip here. Oh, it's just so delicious. Damn, I, this bottle's not gonna last long. I think I might have to get another one. So like I said, if you're looking for a rum or you're not a dessert kind of person, sorry, this one is not for you. But if you do love a dessert and especially Christmas pudding, this does a great job of distilling it down into a liquid form. Absolutely fantastic for Christmas. Now, considering that Christmas is a time for sharing, I'm gonna go finish this one off, but I'm not gonna put this on the shelf. I am instead gonna go take it to some friends and family and enjoy it with them. And if you get a bottle of it, I would recommend that you do the same. So thanks for stopping by to this Christmas meeting of the Tropical Rum Society. I really appreciate you being here and sharing your Christmas with me. I hope you had a fantastic one, and I will see you in the next meeting.